Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do to that uh, calculator we developed in the previous tutorial is that uh, I want to add few more options. Like instead of um, finding the sum, I would like to uh, to choose a uh, operation, for example, multiplication, division, or uh, subtraction. And then uh, uh, after that, we want uh, to find the particular arithmetic operation. So for that, I would like to add this drop down menu here. And this drop down menu uh, is suitable to select an option out of many. So I can uh, modify the properties of uh, this drop down menu. Let me rearrange this. Here's the drop down menu. So I can change the label here. I can call it some arithmetic operation. Okay, now the options that we have here in the uh, option uh, number of items here are the number of items. So I can modify this these items here. I can just uh, type in addition. I can type in subtraction. Then I'm multiplication. And let me finish it with the division. Okay, so these are our uh, four options uh, that we uh, that we want to use in uh, the simple calculator. Okay, now the thing is that we need to we need to identify uh, when it comes to the coding. We need to identify which option is selected over here. That, that's the important thing because this, the the operation the result that displays here uh, it, it should be according to the option selected here okay so that's that's very important that uh, we need to we need to identify which operation is selected and then taking the input here using this operation we'll display the result here so instead of sum i'll just type in here result okay okay so we can judge from here that if you select the value you can see that since here is the addition it says the value says addition and if we switch to for instance subtraction you can say the value says subtraction so this means that we need to identify using the control statement like uh, if else or switch statement that whether subtraction addition multiplication or division is selected for that I, I would like you to see the switch statement in MATLAB we have this shows that you need to write the switch statement and after that you need to write a switch expression a variable or the input that we want to assess and then we write cases case and then uh, the possibility of this switch uh, expression one of the value of the switch uh, expression similarly another case expression and uh, finally otherwise statement so we'll use the switch statement uh, to handle this uh, drop down menu so again, we'll go to the push button, uh, push button callback function, and here we'll just uh, start with the switch statement. So we'll just write the switch, and then I need to write the expression, switch expression, and what I want to assess here is the app dot the arithmetic drop down menu and its value I want to go for the value so this is what 
this is the value of the drop down menu is something we want to assess we want to see what is its value so case if its value is addition if its value is addition we'll just do this very step we got a and b from those uh, from those inputs uh, edit fields and now we are going to add them if the addition is selected similarly case and then we have subtraction and if uh, this is the case we would like to have a minus b and it's it's better to replace now the sum variable with result and uh, i would like to produce it here okay so these are the two cases now uh, if we go on for the next one case i'm going for the multiplication so if multiplication is selected and that drop down menu we'll do this operation okay so we need to have one statement of otherwise okay so if it's not addition multiplication or subtraction not subtraction then it's definitely going to be the division so we'll just do a slash b and we'll get a division in the result okay so let's let's have a try uh, i believe I, I i got the um spelling all right addition subtraction just double checking multiplication and division okay so let, let's just run this program okay so now let me input here the value 10 and 7 here i have selected subtraction and you can see i got the result 3. now if i just change it to addition it gives me 17 let's multiply them i get 70 and divide them okay so that's cool it's working perfectly